want a skitchin bitch bring your cables or your lace come join us for a pack a face hi oh, we're recording we are indeed recording <laughs> official hi guys welcome back it's a day it's a day it's a sunday sundays are, are hard it's sunday sundays are the worst <laughs> It's my kid's 14th birthday. Yay. She's thankfully at her mother's house. Oh, I dodged a bullet on that one. <laughs> 14. Yeah. I they, don't miss that. They had a party at her house yesterday. And apparently they snuck out of the house at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. And then they woke her up again at 3 o'clock in the morning because they couldn't get the TV to work. Yeah. She says never again. I don't believe her any more than the kid does. Fair. <laughs> It's kind of fun. Yes. Or... Parenting sounds hard. I don't want to do it. <laughs> right. it, it. It's not for the faint of heart. Maybe some people magically get kids that aren't as difficult as that one. But that mm. one is that one is something. So. <laughs> but anyway, knitting. Yay, knitting. You're on to a new project. I have started a new project because I finished all my old projects. So now it's time to show off oh, my, my new little, I'm starting my heartbreaker wrap skirt that I've. We talked about, what, episode two, I think? Yeah. So is so. that, it's knit flat? It's knit flat, yeah. Um, so there's like a little wrap part at the very beginning for the overlap. So it's like 300 plus stitches, which is yeah. very annoying. Yeah. But it will look really cute by the time it's done. So that's yeah. exciting. Fun. Yeah, mine had like over 300 stitches. Yeah. I feel like circular dress. goes faster, though. Like I, I. Yeah, for sure. Purling. It's the purling. It definitely it's forever and then you have to like do a like a few on each end through the back loop and oh, so if you forget to do that then really <laughs> you get into trouble but yeah it's it's really cute so and far Happy with it. i like the color uh, i think so yeah because after the initial part it's uh, waist decreases or hip decreases or something um so exciting okay um, i need you to be quiet for a second can you hear that Oh, he closed the door now. <laughs> <laughs> like they probably will be able to hear the. So we're in my closet that we set up during COVID for Zooming. And I didn't close the door. And I didn't close the bedroom door. And my <laughs> husband is loud. He was listening to his music in his room. It's a man cave. It's hysterical. Yes. Anyway. Oh. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, no, that's all good. <laughs> I got distracted because he is loud. So I bought yarn to make that one too. Mine's a brighter purple. Yeah, mine's like a bluishy purple, like a. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah, I haven't even purple. taken mine out. Yes, and I just actually bought new yarn for this too. I'm gonna do a second one that's a lighter material because this is wool and alpaca and linen, um, and the linen is only like 10%. The rest is wool yeah. and alpaca. I think it's gonna be pretty toasty, so this might be oh. a little bit longer for this one, and I'll wear it in the fall with leggings and boots. That'll be super cute with leggings so. and boots. That's what I plan on doing for mine because I only bought skirt fabric fabric <laughs> you're making yarn. the skirt fabric <laughs> yeah I only bought um, enough to do a skirt and I did not buy anything to make the tank top to match it yeah I, I bought the I got another in this in the same um, yarn for and I showed this last time I guess so yeah that, that red kind of color so yeah, I was like I think the skirt so with the blue cute. is gonna be like a nice like denim kind of staple and yeah then it can be paired with the other that I bought, or it can be paired with some other stuff. Too. Yeah, I'm super excited so. for that. And you'll have like three of them done before I even get to mine. Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, because my next cast on is going to be with. Um, it's so pretty. This is Mayu by Amano, and it's alpaca, cashmere, and silk. It's so, so pretty. It's and it's half a shade lighter. Oh, it's so soft. Then oh. the Le Me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, Blue Royal that I like. And so I'm going to make Blue Royal with stripies for the shift again. And Love then this will be a really cute tank top underneath it. It's, it's so soft. Ooh, squishy. Yeah, that is next to skin soft, yeah. which is the best. I was going to say, I was looking in here and I'm like, I've got 85,000 patterns that. Yes, that tracks. Yeah, but this, um, here's someone else's version of the tank top I'm going to make out of that. Cute. Isn't that cute? And I've got the pattern. I love it. Um, and you're a bad influence because, like, now I have another tank top to make, yes. too. So. so that one is the Afterglow Top by Brittany Schumacher. And the pattern's a little expensive, but it gives you three versions. Mm -hmm. And the three different versions, like, one has a 
peplum and one has a ruffle. Oh, cute. And one is the, just the straight that I'm going to make. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. It's like a terrible What app are you picture. using? This is, <laughs> this is the alpaca. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> That's it is app. called, it's just called alpaca. Oh. And so it's just, I find it a little easier to navigate sometimes to find mm -hmm. things that I like. So like my favorited patterns are here oh, okay. and you can scroll through like, so, Cute. and it does it by, you know, like your newest ones. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I use that just to like look at patterns mm -hmm. that I've already saved. I look, use Ravelry. To like search for stuff that I don't have yet. And, and then, then it links to your Ravelry? It links to my Ravelry. Excellent. And then I go to my Knit Companion for when I'm actually using the patterns that I'm using. Excellent. I had not heard of that app and now I know a new thing. So Yeah. Alpaca, it's pretty good. Look at this one. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Yeah. So I don't know. Pretty. I sit here and obsess because it's like, oh yeah, my library recently added our patterns I've actually purchased. And so, yeah, I've got one. Oh, yeah, this one that I just bought, too, the Scrap the Baby. And the V-Back tee. Yeah, I saw that. So this one. I'm the that one on Instagram. Jamie Hoffman V-Back tee. So cute. She has it in two or three different weights. And so I bought all three of them because then I can use all of that really fun sock yarn mm -hmm. that I bought last year mm -hmm. randomly. Because, yeah, I did a lot of yarn buying last year. Yes. And then my other one, which I've ordered yarn and haven't gotten yet, is the Hokey Locatelli Staple Linen Top. And that's okay. the one that I now need to knit. Ooh, I have some lovely like, lilac-colored so silk to do that in. I'm really excited about oh, it. Oh, that'll yeah. be beautiful. I ordered it in black because I need a black tank top. Mm -hmm. Because yes. I need a black tank top. Yes. I have been doing much in the way of crafting this week. <laughs> yes, you have. I have finished my dress, my sweater dress. Lord, it's so good. The pictures of you in it are so cute. So there's my, it's got this lovely little like lacy cowl oh, at the top. And then so it's a gorgeous. nice low back with the lace in the back too. And it is just, it makes me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> and have you blocked it already? I have not blocked it. I did a little steam blocking. Okay, because, oh, to you did try steam to, like, block it. Because my bottom is curling up? Yep. And that's what that's why I needed to do a little light steam blocking to kind of stop that curl happening yeah. at the bottom because it was doing a lot of, uh, I haven't tried the yet. turned hem was, was really curly. So I yeah, will eventually I think, wet block it, but. So yours has a half inch turned mm -hmm. hem where you knit half inch. Mm-hmm. You did a purl row, you knit a half inch, and then you joined them mm -hmm. together. Mine's the same, but my mine's is just an longer. Inch long, yeah. And even at an inch long, mine is curling, 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 yep. curling. It's making me nuts. So that will go away after you block it out, though. So oh, it's, it's I hope it nice does. Little, nice little turned hem. Because I'm not going to win cute. state fair with a curling hem. Well, I don't think I'll probably win state fair either. But it's okay. But you are entering it, right? Yes, I think so. Well, actually, I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, am I allowed to? Because I have technically sold knitted merchandise, which I think makes me not an amateur. And this Fun. Is an amateur only competition. Well, so that's a way to get out of it. That is one <laughs> one less person that. Right. Uh, I'm a I'm a little competing. like. <laughs> I was super excited because I was like, oh, I'm gonna totally wear this dress in August. No, I'm not. No. Nope. Because it'll still be at state fair. Yep. Sure will. <laughs> But we're going to get there. But, Lauren. Yes. You finished a whole dress. I have a pocket. You have a Look pocket. My pocket. It's so cute. I love little cable work on it. Yeah. And it's like kind of bunching up, but I counted and counted and counted. So I may have to look at it. It might just be a blocking issue because yeah. of the cable. <coughs> I or I may have block counted out. wrong. But look at <clears> my little. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Love it. Yes. And I keep. So because it's still in the needles and it just. It feels really big you know how that goes mm -hmm. when you're knitting a thing and you're like am I really am I really that wide yep mine was the opposite I was like oh this is gonna be like too small and then it wasn't yeah. <laughs> so so I think mine's okay I mean looking at it now like it looks reasonable but I'm hoping I did one extra row yeah I think of decreases right right like I think that'll be okay yeah. I think that'll be good because then it needs to go up to armpits yeah and I need to make sure that it'll fit there. But anyway, I think I'm shifting everything mm -hmm. the wrong direction. So if my <laughs> pocket is here, you know, I've got like a couple inches. Mm -hmm. Well, depending on how many couple of inches I'm looking at. <laughs> and then 
Actually, that's not not too bad because I'm looking. It's just about to my knees, but I don't think I want the pocket quite up that high. Anyway, that's where that's I'm very at. Very cute. Now I just knit straight to my armpits, and then I have to figure out the sleeve situation. Yes. Because the pattern has long sleeves. I'm going to do like a short sleeve or a cap sleeve. Mm -hmm. So I have to figure out where, where on the increase situation, how many stitches I need to cast on to do. Right. And then it's got like a little cable. On the sleeve? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. So, but anyway, right now my instructions are like knit <laughs> until the arm... Just, arm just hit it forever. Yeah, it feels hit your like 300 it. stitches. Oh, it feels like forever, <laughs> but it's getting there. Yes. I can definitely see progress now. Yes. So I am carrying my knitted projects in my, I have been obsessively making bags since I got my Cricut. <laughs> and so that's the other uh, era of crafting that I'm in now. So I have my little get cracking bag so cute. today. Which I wanted to show off all of the bags that I made today. Yeah. So this is one of my very favorites. <laughs> So I mentioned to Lauren about having a Cricut, and then she went out and bought one. Mm, not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I had a Cricut before this, but it was a very, very old Cricut. That was yeah. like the first generation of Cricut that was still like manual cartridges that you had to manually insert, and you couldn't see anything before it was cut. And yeah, so it was time for an upgrade. I pissed myself oh, nice. off. I talked about this last time, I think, where I couldn't find the, yes. the power adapter and got mad and... Yeah. So just ordered a new one because I have poor impulse control and grown up money. So <laughs> Right. But she's actually been using it, unlike me. Yes. I do use it frequently. And then I also got to cast off my sweater. Lord, that is so chevron good. sweater. And Kirsten is going to be getting my business because I don't want to weave in my sleeve and I really there I just are so many ends on these sleeves. <sighs> so the floppy. texture is so awesome. It is such, I loved the construction of it. It was so, like, it was weird. It was a weird construction. I love a challenge yeah. construction where it was, like, partly knit in the round up here. And yeah, then... Yeah, so, like, this row here mm -hmm. goes to that row over there. And then she had to pick up the sleeve part after it. So, like, this part of the sleeve she did. Yep. So, the sleeves were picked up afterward. And then the so sleeves good. were knit mostly in the round until, like, here. And then you knit the very end part flat. So mm -hmm. it's flat knitting, flat knitting, flat knitting while you're casting off. And then you pick up all of those little stripies to do the, the so hem. Cute. So it was really interesting construction. I had never seen something like that before. And I love the way that it looks. It's just like so. It's so cozy. Yes. And the colors are really interesting because it's a pretty like, like rosy mauve kind of mm -hmm. color and kind of a butter yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to work together. I was really happy with how they worked yeah. out. Yeah, so like on the screen, it kind of looks like this kind of green. But if you put this kind yeah. of green with it, like you can, can kind of see that it's different. really just buttery. Yeah, so it's this really nice. I'll try to hold it up a little closer. So it's got buttery yellow. So good. So happy. <laughs> Such a happy yeah. color. And I just love the way the, the chevrons, like, they lay really nicely. And it's just a very yeah. flattering kind of cut. And I think our high for the next week is 43 degrees. Yeah. So she can wear it to get those ends tucked in. Yes. <laughs> I can technically wear it just tucking the ends. But yeah, I think I'm going to give it to Kirsten to weave them in. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's so good. Yes. I love I'm it. so happy with it. So I've been casting off projects all week. And yeah. So casting on projects. And I didn't make a bag. <laughs> I went you got a bag. I bought a bag. Oh my God, you guys. Look at this pattern. So so does it not match me? Skulls exactly. and moths. Um, your vibe. So this is it's Heidi West Designs. I'm sure you've heard of them. And yeah, it's Heidi West. So I ordered it off of Etsy because I've been watching for exactly this pattern for a while. And it's this one's like a nice big chunko bag with like pockets inside. Is it waxed canvas on the outside? Yes. Yeah. And it, this one has a long strap or these short straps, and then that wasn't enough, so I also <laughs> bought a small project bag. It's cute. I know. I'm like, I don't need more bags, but this pattern I definitely needed. Well, and that color is so perfect. It's like a soft, like purpley gray. Yeah. It's you know, very, it's my summer deck Very your bag. vibe. <laughs> yeah. So I was super excited about those coming in the mail this mm -hmm. week. I made other bags. <laughs> yes. 
I'm showing off all the now things. Now we can see that Lauren's made. bags. This is my very favorite that I have made. My little cactus, not a hugger bag. And that one's fun because it's got like a <laughs> iridescent it's, shimmer. It's sparkly. It's glittery. It's so, so good. All the cacti and the words are glittery. It makes me very happy. It makes and... me happy too because I make her hug me anyway. <laughs> She hates it. I don't hate it, hate it. She I hates just, it. She gets twitchy. It's so fun. Vaguely uncomfortable. Um, I'm kind of evil, so I like it. This was my on a whim bag. A little political yes. bag. You take that one to school, right? <laughs> so the kids can ask you what it means. yet. <laughs> we do have conversations about this. Kids know more than you think they know. Oh, yeah. Especially like my fifth graders. We have had talks about like... Why do we say the Pledge of Allegiance in school? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Why don't you say the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> so, right. And then my this is my safe to bring to work bag. Yes. Creative minds are rarely tidy. That's so cute. <laughs> so, yes, I have just lots of lots so. Of and baggies. you had these extra bags because you made bags for your knitter kids, right? Yeah. So I am. I have my knitting club at school where I'm teaching um, a group of third and one fourth grader to knit um, oh, after school it. once a month on Tuesdays and uh, I made them each a little project bag with their name on it and a little yarn ball oh, that's and so cute. yeah because I bought them all the all the stuff they would need to actually make their we're doing scarves so just basic garter stitch yeah. scarves um, because beginning knitters <laughs> but that's awesome the, uh, one of my kiddos really just like took up and her grandma is a knitter too, so she oh, has cute. helped with that as well. And um, so she comes in with this little like zippered little project bag with her little yarn in it, and the oh. kids are like, "I want that one of those." Grandma <laughs> is just dying. So it was really funny to see them like, "Can you? Can you? Can we have a bag too?" And that's so I cute. made them each a little canvas tote pouch with their name on it. Oh, and that's perfect. Like, little sparkly, silvery glitter yes, letters. Yes, they turned out really cute. Yeah, they were that. super fun. So. I do not have small children to teach right now. Oh, oh well. That's allowed. <laughs> it's yeah. it's its own battle, I'll tell you. <laughs> trying to teach. Well, I used to have seven of them. Now I have six. So, because one oh, of them I moved. I showed you. It's really sad. But, um, you know, it's, it, third graders, learning a new skill is really frustrating for them. Oh, yeah. And so, like, and when they don't dexterity. get it right away, it's, it's frustrating for them. And... Like, it's a lot of, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Like, I was like, guys, there's six of you. There's one of me. You're going to have to give me a moment. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm just looking up. There was something that came to my awareness the other day that I'm going to share with you because I didn't send it to you. Ha ha. Ha ha. It's yeah, not surprise. you that I sent it to. <laughs> um, anyway, I was listening about your kids. But... International Yarn Bombing Day. Oh, fun. Is coming up June 10th. June 10th. Okay. And I will not be here. Mm -hmm. I will be internationally in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Probably not yarn bombing because, well, I don't live in Canada. If I get arrested there, that would be terrible. Yeah. Be um, but it's something that I thought you might be interested in knowing about. Yeah, we can. We, we might even bring it up to our... our I already group. sent it. Okay, look at you go. Yeah. So I sent it to our friend Kelly, who mm -hmm. is in charge of events. our guild's events, and have not heard back from her, but hopefully hopefully that's something that she might want to do something with. Yes. And if our personal knitters group maybe wanted to do something with that, um, mm -hmm. I know Kim thinks yarn bombing is just like the most amazing thing ever. I have no strong feelings one way or the other honestly i kind of don't either it's kind it's, of fun to kind of see fun. and i'm like i just don't have like a solid like uh right. i have to do that i need to participate in that immediately that's never been like my, my right jam. well and this website um days of the year talks about like the history of international yarn bombing day mm -hmm. and how to celebrate fun. and um yeah i don't know like yeah, it could be definitely a fun thing to do. I think a lot of people do it kind of as like a fundraiser. I know the city of Oconomowoc did somehow as a fundraiser a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I think different buildings maybe paid to have people yarn bomb their okay. property or something. I don't know. but So that would be something to look into is also how to find some place to yarn bomb. Oh, that's a cute idea. I know that it's uh, it can help like plants and things in the winter so you'd think that it would be better you know like wrapping the trees and everything I know, i've seen yeah. that happen before so i wonder if it might be more uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was interesting that it's June 10th. So next weekend, um, whatever the date is, good Mm -hmm. grief, I'm tired. Next weekend is local yarn store day, the 29th 29th. of April. So that's local yarn store day. I know a bunch of stores are doing something (laughs) special stuff for that. Yes. Um, It's weird having our screen go blank and not seeing myself staring at myself. (laughs) Um, So that's happening next weekend in Wisconsin, Alpaca Fest in Madison. Yep. Same day or same weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So on Saturday, I think I'm actually going to Madison. So I won't be at our local yarn stores, which is sad. But there are local yarn stores in Madison, too. I know. I want to go to ours. I know. Um, There are so many. (laughs) And then what was the other one that I was going to talk about? Local yarn store day. Yarn Bombing Day. There's something else coming up in between there that had something to do with something. I don't know. I forget. I can't think of anything. (laughs) It's gone. It was on the tip of my brain that I was going to bring up along with that, but I don't remember what. Well, there you have it. Yeah. Or I don't. My brain is just dumb. Yeah, it's been a week. (laughs) My brain is just... We considered getting together on Friday after, after work, like in the evening, and I was like, my brain is completely gone. I have no brain left. And it really hasn't recovered very much since then, so you get what you get. (laughs) Yeah, Friday evening was the only, like, two hours I have had literally to myself in three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So, teenager spring break for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Jay's schedule changed. Um, Birthday this weekend. Like, I don't know, I'm just... Yeah. I'm kind of a mess all the time. And this week is worse. It's just worse. Yeah. It's been a been a rough week (laughs) do things get really busy for you for the last couple weeks of school you have like a ton of we've got six weeks left and it's always chaos because this is like i start teaching ukulele and recorders in march oh god and so it is (laughs) always a hot mess um and then i do like it depends on the group. Like one of my groups of kids just could not handle having ukuleles. And so yeah. I am making them like do their, we write a jingle and okay. uh, That's fun. a commercial. So they have to like make up their own product and then write a jingle and an ad copy and everything oh, that's for really it. Fun. Um, so we're doing that instead with that group because they could not be trusted with the instruments. <laughs> but it Makes also means that me. I have like no voice left because I'm shouting yeah. over recorders and ukuleles. Yeah. And this is like the time of year that I start teaching about dynamics with my littles oh, as well. Fun. And so we do like singing forte and singing piano. And so like I sing forte all day. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. My voice is gone by the end of it because we're playing like singing games. Like um, yeah. we do a monkey in the middle, like hide and seek game where they have to mm-hmm. sing louder when the finder is getting closer to the, the stuffed animal that they're trying to find. And like, I'm always helping with that. So yeah, no voice, none. Yeah. And That's yeah, a- so it's, it's been, <laughs> it's been tough. And we've got, I think six weeks left of school still. That's funny. So. Yeah. I'm planning for like, we had prom in the mm. area this weekend yes. and my kid who's that age is not going to prom and I was like thank god <laughs> because all the other parents are like they have prom they have to do photos and get clothes and do all the things and then there's and graduation <laughs> plus I have like everybody in my house has summer birthdays so I've got right. April May June birthdays and then August and I have to figure out summer schedule because my Allie needs care, and then, like, she needs, if I need to do anything, she needs 24-hour daycare. Right. And so I have to figure that out. And two, my two regular weekend sitters don't want to do weekends. So I have to see if my other sitters want to do weekends, and if I have enough coverage, or if I have to hire someone. Again. (laughs) It's like, ugh. So I've been putting that off. Because I haven't had brain power. Yeah. Because I haven't had any time to myself. So. Yay. Quite crappy probably, time. <laughs> right. Probably not today. Probably tomorrow. I have to sit down and do my schedule at least for May. And then. It's just like. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's it's so much more. Like I only have to really worry about me and occasionally my husband. <laughs> so. Yeah. He's home for another week, which is very exciting. He's been, like, 
like living half home. in Boston during half yeah. of the week. And so he's been home for the last two weeks, which has I been wonderful. Have the opposite problem. My husband never leaves the house. <laughs> I love him very much. But yeah. It's good to have like it's it's good to have time and space to yourself. That's well and for I'm time, a strong advocate and right. love the fact that I work outside the home and so does he. <laughs> right. So before COVID and then during like no, not really after COVID, but kind of in that BC land before COVID, being a stay at home wife and working from home, mm-hmm. I had like everybody would leave by nine o'clock in the morning. And so from nine to two, I could clean, I could do laundry, I could focus, I could do paperwork, right. I could. <sighs> that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Now it's like literally during COVID, everybody was home and I would have like the scheduling stuff and like five different colored pens and trying to like coordinate and yeah, then they would <clears throat> talk to me and I'd be like, can you not? No, I'm doing a thing. <laughs> can you not see this? Like I am literally working right now. Yes. Um, yeah, so that's how we ended up with a fancy closet because I needed to be able to close the door, but there's not like a table in here. There's not room. I can't really like lock myself in here to (laughs) very small do paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. I probably could figure it out, but I'm not that motivated. Have like a flippy desk that goes (laughs) up into the wall and (laughs) bring it down. Uh, Not that motivated. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's that's too much work, but it's yeah. doable if you, yeah. if you were motivated enough. I yourself. also have a whole separate house, but taking everything and going over there doesn't always work either. Mm-hmm. So, because Allie is using that house. Right. Which is why we're not there today, because, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, Allie's probably going to be there. And, yeah. yeah. So nice. here we are. You know, this works. You get I what like you it. get. It's purple. <laughs> We've got flowers. We're happy. We're, we're cozy. Yeah. So. So yesterday was um, local record store day. Yes. So it's a thing that is like totally hipsters. And Aiden. It's for is, old people. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm like, joking. I am like, totally joking. So Aiden at 14 is into music, which is into like. 14 year old music? Uh huh. Ariana Grande. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. That's not 14 year old music anymore? <laughs> not even 14 year old. Okay. Aiden's into childish Gambino. Oh, okay. And. Yeah, that tracks. And. Oh, I can't think of the name of the other one that she likes, but it, yeah, a lot of swearing. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so I went yesterday and I had bought her. She used to like. My God, my brain. (laughs) Menopause is such a pain in the butt. So I bought her a record and she's like, I liked them when I was 10. (laughs) And so she was really mad at me because she didn't want that record. So she sent me a list. So I got Mac DeMarco. You listen to them? That is. No, me either. I got her. I see Joey Mitchell. That's I know me. who that is. Joni Mitchell is for <laughs> me. I also bought myself um, Fleetwood Mac this week. Oh, we love that. This band, Cigarettes After Sex. Seems for my 14 year old. Completely appropriate my, for a 14 year old to be listening to. Right. But actually, this one I kind of like. It's a little more musical and a mm. little less sweary. Yeah. Um, I don't like shouty music. That's, that's my biggest thing. It's like, this is just noise for noise sake. Can we not? Um, well, and she, she hooks up her phone to my car whenever she's in my car and so yesterday I took her and her friend to get their hair done and she she plugged in her phone and her friend goes play the one your mom doesn't like <laughs> which is, is that not the most 14 thing oh my god <laughs> well and it's funny because they think it's funny because it does it's like oh my god like it's the same 10 songs on repeat mm-hmm. right because that's how you listen to music mm-hmm. like this is what I'm into this is my playlist yep. let's I never I had that problem when know I was a kid. So. All the sweary, sweary words to yeah. songs that I don't care about. Yeah. You want to know what's super fun is being a music teacher and giving kids like fifth graders free mm-hmm. time on their computers. Oh, and they have access to this really awesome site um, called Freegal that is a way to stream music. Yeah. 
but there are no filters for school. Oh, funny. And so even though it's like under their school account and on their school yeah. Chromebook, they are listening to some very swearing music. That's awesome. And there's no way for me to be like, hey, that's not okay. Because they're like, well, it's yeah. on the computer. Like, That's so funny. Ugh. Yeah, so I don't know. Our independent record store now is Lilliput. It used to be exclusive company, but they took over. And so it was awesome because... There was a live band, mm. and Jay and I went, and I was like, I'm old. It's really loud here. <laughs> I hate it. Make it not so loud. Yeah, that's my issue with any live music event. Same. Uh, we went to the... Or driving around with my 14-year-old, for that matter. Uh, yeah, I don't... I have synesthesia, and so, like, I feel sound. Mm -hmm. And so, like, sharp, loud noises feel like yeah. stabbing. It's not great. Um, yeah. So I, I spend a lot of time, like... Every time something like hits the floor, because I work with small children, I, I spend a lot of. Eh. <laughs> well, I realized, so, you know, Allie's cognitively delayed, and and she would nap, and like, it's just always mm -hmm. mostly quiet in my world, and so I was like, I just, I one time went and saw a concert, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm used to like a nap time level of noise, mm -hmm. and that's where I'm comfortable. I listen to my audio books, I listen to music. And it's like, it's quiet. Yeah. And then I go, and my husband's music is very loud, and Aiden's music is very loud. And it's not good for us. That's the other thing. Is I, I try to push this into my students, too. I you know Hearing loss is permanent. Yeah. And if you are listening, I push this all the time mm -hmm. on my kids. Like, if you have headphones on, you should not have them turn all the way up. You should have them about halfway. Right. Because when you're pushing 100 decibels directly into your ears mm -hmm. for an extended period of time, for a half hour, 45 minute long yeah. class... Yeah. That is going to permanently damage your ears, and you cannot get your hearing back after it is lost. Like I always say, you know, hard of hearing and deaf people can do amazing things, and they can do you right. know, but to choose awesome, wonderful things. But why would you intentionally harm yourself right. permanently? Um, <laughs> well, and yeah. I, I now if Aiden has her friends, like they want to sing along, mm -hmm. and so they kind of want that noise to like drown out their own singing. I think mm -hmm. is part of it. But so I can put them in the back seat usually and turn the music all the way to the back because they're like, try not, try not. I'm like, <laughs> no. And know. then I'm like, why am I stressed out? Why is my body feeling twitchy? Oh, yeah. Because I was listening to sweary, sweary music at like ear splitting decibels while I was trying to drive. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to remind myself the other day that I need to take earplugs and put earplugs in my car. Yep. Um, because otherwise I will put in my noise canceling headphones sometimes and listen to like something quiet. Mm -hmm. while they're swearing at me over the radio. <laughs> <sighs> yes. God, does that make me sound old? I love it. See, and I'm not that old, but I yeah. feel exactly the same way. We went to the um, the dog day at the down in the Deer District um, a yeah. week, two weeks ago. I don't yeah. remember. Some time ago. And they um, had a live band, and I had the exact well, same awesome. problem where I was like, the band was great. It was great to listen to them. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I remembered the name of them. I don't know. At right. one point, I put it on the text somewhere, but I don't remember it now. Um, um, well, that's <laughs> anyway. what, when we travel to New Orleans, like that's kind of what I like about it. Like There's music all over the place and lots mm -hmm. of bands playing outside. But it's like they're, they're playing outside. Mm -hmm. like, like you can be a little bit away from it yeah. and not have it be overwhelming. Yeah. And even, I think, in the clubs, like at night when we go listen to live jazz music, like it just doesn't feel the same, like, uh, yeah, overwhelming pressure of, mm -hmm. I'm in a coffee shop and I would like to drink my coffee. Yeah. I don't want super loud. Yeah. And I'm the same even with, like, weddings. Like, I hate oh, wedding God. receptions because, yes. like, this is a yes. enclosed room. It's not that big. It's never that big. And it's yeah. always the DJ, like, blaring their music as if they were in a freaking, like, 50,000-person stadium. I do miss going out <laughs> dancing, though. See, I never really did that, so. <laughs> oh, Lauren. <laughs> it was my favorite. I miss that a lot. And, yeah, Jay would go out dancing with me, but we have different musical tastes, so. Mm -hmm. You know, where he wants to go dancing, where I want to go dancing, or whatever. But yeah. See, I so, love that. Every once in a while, there's a, a yacht rock cruise hmm, fun. in Milwaukee. So um, my friend is the DJ on that boat. And so every once in a while, we can get it together where we don't have kids on a Monday. And I'll be like, let's, let's go, go. Do that. <laughs> I love and that. And so that was really fun because Jay was like in a dancing competition mm -hmm. with other people. And 
That's yeah. funny. Yeah, it was very fun. See, I love like a piano bar, like the the piano, um, the dueling pianos. Yeah, those yeah, kinds of I things. can totally see that being yeah. seen. Or like it's super fun to like sing along, but it's not like crazy, crazy loud. Mm -hmm. And you're like encouraged to sing with them and do, you yeah. know, like and that's, karaoke. that's my jam. Yeah, karaoke. Where's as well. the karaoke that you brought up this week? I forgot. Oh, um, oh, at uh, Hamburger Mary's, the oh, club yes. next door to Hamburger Mary's does karaoke every week. That would be fun. And I super duper want to go in the summer when, because it's on like Thursday nights and Thursday nights are real bad. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I still have to work on Friday morning. Yeah. So. Well, we'll get there. I yes. think in summer, Thursday is going to be my, like, I don't care what the kids want to do. I'm not making appointments. It's beach day. Yay. So if Thursdays then work out to also do karaoke. Let's I think, do it. I think we can make that happen. I'll just call it mom fun day on Thursdays and... You deserve that. You deserve a day to yourself. And well, you get to do what you want to do. I do a lot of what I want to do, no, to be honest. But you to be honest, I sneak out and I knit. And, uh... Right, but it's like I sneak out and I knit and I do stuff. But I have to, I think, especially with summer, like, prioritize. Otherwise, it just gets, like, crazy busy. Yeah. And then if the kids know, like, I'm not scheduling appointments on Thursdays, then that allows for at least one day where there's fun without me having to like be in town because otherwise a lot of times I feel like you know as a mom like it's point A to point B like mm -hmm. my house to mom's house mm -hmm. back to my house taking them to a friend's house go over to a, an appointment right. like I hate having appointments in the middle of the day I yeah. hate it but it's hard to avoid when everybody's in therapy right yeah there everybody's in therapy you... and there's dentists yes. and there's and Allie has her day program so I drive her some of the days to that or have to pick her up and yeah it's, it's stupid it's like a stupid amount of I can't go and actually do anything fun because I have to be within a three mile radius of my house right yeah, so protecting, you know, a day every week and saying, yeah. hey, this is my day for me to do whatever the hell I want to do. Um, I don't have to be right. on call. Because right. that's the thing about, like, momming is, like, you, regardless of whether you have an appointment that day or, mm -hmm. like, a plan that day, you're always on call because you're the mom. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's... Yeah, you're you're momming. So to but set aside and say, hey, have... deal with one of your other parents right now. <laughs> right, this but is we my have, day. like, Lake Michigan right here. Mm -hmm. We've got a bunch of great lakes and hikes and state mm -hmm. parks and kayaking and biking. Yes. Those things just take a little bit more time that I have to prioritize, like, mm -hmm. being able to leave the neighborhood in yep. order to do them. Yep. So, you know, if Saturday is you know, community knitting or, you know, some other kind of outing mm -hmm. or family stuff or, you know, graduation parties and that stuff's coming up. Um, it's just really nice to have one day where I'm like, nope, that's my beach yep. day. Not doing any of the things today. <laughs> yeah. Because the other Call day is someone else. <laughs> we can go to, like, there's um, a couple of pools that we can go to close by mm -hmm. where it's like, I can do that in the evening and just like go there and spend an hour. Mm -hmm. Um, but going to the beach takes longer. Yeah. And I want to have lunch and a cocktail. Yes. Otherwise, it's just not really beach day. Yes, that is accurate. <laughs> so, yeah, those those are my life goals right now. Like, I just want to be on a beach. I would like a weekly beach day. That is my life goal right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did is get through the end of the school year. It was a very realistic goal. <laughs> yes. When we had that 80 degree weather, like, mm -hmm. okay, so we had 80 some degrees and I got sunburned at the beach. I went to the beach. I sat on the beach in my swimming suit. I also got sunburned, but I got sunburned at recess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way but, less fun. <laughs> but then two days later it snowed. Yes. And Thanks, well, today Milwaukee. it's 42 degrees and awful. Eh, it's not too bad. It's I will take. No, it's okay, and everything's like, green. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with this in April. Like this is pretty reasonable April weather mm -hmm. for me. Oh no, I wouldn't expect it to still be 85. Yeah, it's I was just... really worried when it was 85 <laughs> in April because I was like, oh my god, the end of the year is going to be freaking awful. We don't have air yeah. conditioning in my buildings. <laughs> like it was going to be nightmarish <laughs> if it was going to be 85 or more. Yeah, the I rest always, of the year. I always laugh because it'll be 85. 
And then in June, when my kids are at camp and have to go swimming mm-hmm. at seven o'clock in the or nine o'clock in the morning, nice. And it's like it's fifty degrees out. Ha ha. <laughs> like yeah, it's chilly. Get in the pool, kids. Ha. ha. Yeah, I remember doing that when I was their age. Like I it's took swimming worst. lessons I hate and it. stuff, and I always liked it. I I'm a freaking fish. I will spend my whole no. Life I in the hate water. just when it's that so. cold. Yeah, it never bothered me that much. No. <laughs> 70 I'll almost do, but... It's just happy in the much. water. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's cold. I don't care. Anybody want enjoy. kids? Can you add money to my credit card? Because I'm going to go to the mall. Mm. Mm. Kids. It's the entitlement for me. <laughs> Yikes. I'm a going to the mall. Uh, well, yeah, I'm like, yeah. As a teenager, man, that was... Uh... <laughs> that was not a thing. My mom would be like, I'm taking you to the mall. I will get you an outfit if you... <laughs> well, she's got two moms, but I mean, yeah. that's funny. But she, she yesterday, we were talking about... So she's turning 14 today. We were talking about getting a job because her friend said, oh, I could go work at the city pool because mm-hmm. they hire at 14 for, like, taking tickets. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, that'd be really great if you both did that. And she goes... I don't want a summer job. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, oh, I don't like you. Yikes. (sighs) And she said that as we were at the hair salon. And I was paying for her hair. Yikes. I think I was 15 when I got my first job. That was a hiring thing, though. Like, I couldn't Mm -hmm. get a job before that. So I took a waitressing job as soon as I was able to. Yeah. And I was was expecting to. Daycare. there's, there's something to be said for, like, letting kids be kids, but also there's something to be said for preparing kids right. to be adults. And I think and... I think part of her issue with summer is, okay, you've got eight weeks. Mm-hmm. Well, four of those weeks she's at camp. Mm-hmm. So since she's going to sleepaway camp, she's like, well... Why bother? Yeah, I'm not. And she wants to do volleyball and hang out with her friends. I see. I think you can do both things, but hopefully she'll kind of grab some of that motivation within the next year or two. Yeah, my (laughs) answer to her is your card has $16. (laughs) That should be enough to get through the day. And I know it's her birthday, but... mm. Yeah. Like I said, my mom was like, I will take you to the mall. We will pick out one thing. And... (laughs) Well, and right. a lot of times that first on, did you lose weight this year? <laughs> so. oh, yeah, no, she doesn't have that problem. <laughs> but it's like, you just got new clothes, you mm-hmm. just got presents, you just, like. Yeah, like, you you don't need to be going $16, on a shopping spree. No, $16 is enough to go and get a snack. And... Yeah, at the mall. Just, yeah, go hang out with your friends, go get an orange Julius, whatever the fuck the mall has now. <laughs> and call it a day. She wants boba. (laughs) This is my world. Oh, so she (coughs) wants... Okay, so here's the thing. She wants to get drinks for her and her friends. So three times six is... Eighteen. Yeah, so it's not quite enough. So I'll send a little... But also, it's her birthday. Why is she the one treating her friends? <laughs> um, her friends are in from out of town. Oh, okay. It's her camp friend, so they came um, in to stay overnight. Okay, that's nice. Well, that's very thoughtful of her. Yeah. So that that part's fine. Like, yes. I want her to be generous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just sad she's generous yes. with my money. Yeah, yeah. I'm just always a fan of like it's your birthday you get like you get treated a little bit on your birthday but yeah but that I want, is really I want sweet, her to be generous yes. to her friends when they come because yes I don't feel like that's... that is really thoughtful and kind yeah so good on her and if I was with her it would I would just be putting it on my card so. fair yeah it's like yeah this is coming out of my funding anyway so right yeah I get that but that's also why she has a card because then I don't have to go to the mall yes That is nice. I I just buy everything online. (laughs) I am kind of the worst. I have been spending way too much money this month. Yeah. Like, with the Cricut and the wanting to do all the crafty things. Like I said, I just bought a new heat press. Like, a big heat press. Oh, did you buy one? Yeah. 
like a, a good sized one so I can do all of the, the thing at once instead of taking my little like mini iron okay, and here's pushing it down one a little bit at a time. So when I was playing with <clears> it the <throat> other day, because mm -hmm. I got a big heat press too, I ended up using my regular iron because it says put it on a cotton setting, but it didn't tell me the degrees. And the big oh, heat press has temperature, not... Yep, so you should check the... Um, uh, there should be in your user manual a little okay. uh, chart Please, for that. I read the user manual because I'm a nerd and I like to follow the rules. <laughs> Normally I would. But so yeah, I that's how a I. A little stress. That's how I did it, but I didn't get the okay. I didn't get the fancy Cricut Easy Press because yeah, poor. Um, not poor, but teacher. Hi. Teacher. Someone salary. came Hi, to honey. find me. Come. Hi, honey. Come. He's a good girl. Hi. There's my baby. She's a good girl. I don't have Here's mine my with doggy. me. My husband has him today. Hi, good girl. You're so good. So, so it's good. everybody's favorite part of the show. Yes. Dog time. She's so good. <laughs> um, okay. And then I found a um, the perfect skirt. The yeah. Perfect skirt for me. Do I have my phone? I do have my phone on me. I want to see your perfect skirt. Okay. So like I said, music teacher. I am a music teacher. And Did you finish your music sweater? Oh yeah. By the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When do we get to wear that one? Um, it's in storage because it has been wintry. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is amazing. Did so someone make is, that and you're ordering it? Uh, it's it's through this company that does like steam specialized. So they have like science themed dresses and skirts and like arts it's and rainbow it's got piano. piano keys on it. That is amazing, um, Lauren. So, oh, sorry. sorry. Um, so yeah, it's called Sveha USA. Okay. S V A H A USA, I think. Um, and it's I saw them on um, Instagram at first, and I was like, well, that I'm not sure if they're legit. And then right. I saw this other music teacher that you saw <laughs> wearing it. Um, on TikTok, and I was like, okay, so that is a legit company because I actually yeah. know this creator and like or know of her. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Instagram advertising guys, it really it's dangerous. It's very we, dangerous. We laugh about the kids and their TikTok influencer nonsense, but it, <laughs> everyone yeah. can be influenced. You know, I I tend to de-influence oh people too, where it's like you don't need that. You don't need a Stanley <laughs> water bottle cup or whatever the fuck like like yeah your your water bottle is going to do just fine your $20 Amazon water bottle is going to be just as as effective right. at keeping your ice cold as your you know $80 cup <laughs> yeah for you, sure you don't need the fancy brand but that was too perfect um for yeah, me yeah no that's uh, really cute and i wear dresses and skirts all the time because i don't like to match things so yeah. um that was just just screaming my name. That would be um, awesome. I can't wait to see it. Spend way too much money, but <laughs> it's like, right. that's a worth it investment. I know. Does it get better during summer because you're outside more? It gets better during summer because I don't have money during summer. Okay. <laughs> that makes that's sense. my big issue is I don't have the money to spend, so I don't spend the money as much. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I do, you know, not that I'm like destitute or anything in the summer i have a husband who who funds us but yeah, um, i don't have my own income that at that time usually right it's a little harder to be like honey i have this impulse purchase that yeah. i would like to make yes now i will be putting my tote bags on my etsy shop and maybe making some income from that but i think that's going to be great yes and my little like my color changey cups and i'm just kind of gonna yeah, put all of those into cute. my my etsy shop you are so cute oh my god yeah, sorry. And he just like laid her hand on my her, her head yeah, on my she's hand. She's super schnuggly. Yes, she's very cute. She's very baby. cute. So yes. Well, I think that's it. I think yes, we had a bit of a rambly day today. We didn't have a, a like a scheduled like we didn't, but agenda. We felt like we hadn't been in here in a couple of weeks, and Lauren's finished eighty five things, <laughs> making me look bad. So before we get too far from, <laughs> she's a good girl. Yes, you are. I love you. Yeah, you're a good girl. Okay. That's, babies. No. <laughs> I am just going to talk to a dog now for the next hour or so. <laughs> and you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, have a great couple of weeks and yes. keep knitting. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Now I have to turn the button.